Hi, welcome to part 5. We will look at some more questions on AWS SAP speciality. So if you want to subscribe, it will help you with certifications on AWS, Azure Cloud, Google Cloud. Now this certification is all about putting SAP on AWS. That means it will also involve uh, migration from your existing SAP environments to AWS. See, there is a company and they want to migrate. Like I told, they already are on SAP somewhere on some platform on premises and they are saying, guys, let's move from this on premises to AWS cloud. Okay. This is great. They want to move from this place to this place. Now, the company is saying that they will use highly available distributed deployments okay and client will access the sap system from a local data center so they will access it from this place this yellow box but via site to site vpn they will connect to sap so VPN gives you tunneling features, connection features, so on. Now you want to design the network access, this network access. What configuration approach would meet the requirement? See, the first thing is here, whenever I see overlay IP address is within production VPC idea. So this will consider this someone, a girl is already married. Okay. And now you are going and trying to data. So that what will happen? You will get critical error saying that I am already married. You will get critical error. So here also, if you are going within the production VPC CIDR range, it will give critical error. These things are already used by, by the husband. So where are you getting it? So whenever I see within production CIDR it is I know that I'll get error the lady will tell I am already married okay so these two are out of context now now three are left and three are saying we will use something outside the production I'll try to propose girls who are not married they may have a boyfriend that is still okay because nowadays nobody is free but people should not be married i should not approach people who are married now b d and e are giving you these options okay so let us we have to choose two answers here that you should remember we have to choose two answers see what am i supposed to do i am supposed to provide the design for what for network access network access network access network load balancer network load balancer this is important okay, we don't have to choose application load balancer because we are taking care of network access so application load balancer will not work we can pause and read it see someone told you pause please create masala dosa you will use the dosa batter you will not use the wheat flour for chole bhature similarly here you will use network load balancer okay so we have to choose one more answer we are left with this answer there is no other go we are left with this answer we will use ip address outside the production range we will we'll go to girls who are not married and create aws transit gateway why transit gateway? Because we have to connect on-premises network to a single gateway of AWS. Here, yellow box needs to connect to blue box. Yellow box is on-premises. Blue box is AWS. You want to connect to two places. Who told? Are boss, client told. No? Client will access SAP systems from local data center. That is why the transit gateway comes into picture. Remaining things, I don't care because I know this is correct. Because using the common sense we were able to derive the answers 
these are our two answers option b option d so there is a company they are running hana on aws they are already using back end agent why this is used to take backups of sap systems and they are using this agent where they are using they have put it on aws ec2 so this is the compute capacity they have put it there so see, once you take the backup suppose this is your hana you have taken the backup where you put the backup you are putting the backup in s3 buckets that is the place you are putting it so this is your cloud object storage okay so you have object storage built to store and retrieve amount of data from anywhere you are putting it here but when you are running the backups it is failing it is the backups are failing it is telling access denied how do you know you went to check the log files of backend the backup tool this is a backup tool you went and checked the log file and the log file is saying was access denied error i'm getting now you are supposed to solve this why this access denied problem is happening see you have taken this backup and you are getting the access error while while you are writing it so most likely you don't have privilege to put it here you will have to require privilege to put it on s3 that is why in that respect b sounds correct a is not correct see you don't require operating system level privileges okay that is wrong then we are not talking about global systems we have multiple regions nothing of that sort so why this region id etc comes into play and when we talk about enable tagging parameter this is just to give additional tags just like your linkedin post you give additional tags so that people can relate okay this post is linked with uh, say tcs or infosys news something of that sort so but here tagging is an usually optional thing good for searching content and those things but you will not get access denied error because of tagging see you, if you don't put a tag on linkedin post your post will still go through linkedin will not tell hey where is the tag man it is missing so i will not allow you to post no linkedin will not tell this that is why here also if you don't have tags you will not get access denied error it will still work so option b is our answer we will have to grant access to the target s3 bucket that is our answer see you have to act as a doctor and where the problem is if guy is having headache is it because his flush flushing system is not good or is it because of sinus and so on now let us look at this next question here see this is a long question okay the bottom line is they are creating a new landscape in aws and they want plethora of features they want the environment to be secured they want federation to happen they want logging to be centralized and so on they want all those good features plus they need top level summary of policies this is important they need a summary of policies if you have to do that you will not use cloud formation because this is infrastructure as a code normally in our project we write these scripts to recreate an environment add to ec2 instance add to database like sql server or rds and aurora or, or redshift and so on it is meant to make your life easy with respect to infrastructure creation you can automate using cloud formation the uh, policies it will not help policies there is a beautiful feature given by aws called control tower you can have multi account aws environment and you can build automation uh, you can automate creation of aws accounts it will have these you can enforce best practices 
and so on. And it is highly secure, that is what our question wants. So we will use control tower and we will use that dashboard because they need top level policy summaries. So this dashboard they can check and get it. See beanstalk blue green. This is canary deployment. It is a deployment measure. It is nothing to do with policies as such. And code deploy, code pipeline. This is again GitHub kind of stuff related to your code. For policies, we don't use this GitHub kind of thing. For policies, you need a special solution which AWS gives. So AWS is testing your knowledge on AWS services. Okay. Now you might say, can't I create my own program? Uh, to check these policies probably yes but AWS does not want to test that skill you may be great okay uh, AWS does not want great people they want people who are great at understanding AWS services you should under understand control tower you should not create your own code to achieve this at least from a certification standpoint so option D is our answer. Control tower is our answer. So if you are not yet subscribed, then do so AWS Azure Google Cloud certifications. It will help you become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member. You will gain access to so many new questions. Very important to help you clear the certification. Okay this is part five we will post more content see previous parts are also available on this members area cloud kernel cloud ninja member can access it so please do not forget to access that and start your journey on this one